Hello there. Good morning. I'm uh, coming to you this morning. Paula and I just just got back in town from a road trip to see family and uh, spend some time with her mom and my mom and dad in Kentucky and Mississippi and got to see our friend Jeff Stice on the on the trip. Uh, have some dinner with him and uh, Stacy. That was a, a delightful time. I'm just coming to you this morning for a call to prayer and praise to uh, invite you to join Paula and I as we uh, bear one another's burdens and fulfill the law of Christ. I trust you and your family are doing well as, as we are. We are uh, very blessed and very grateful in this season of our lives. Um, but I need to let you know that we've had quite a few uh, people with illnesses here at the river. We've had a busy week, a lot of calls coming in for uh, special prayer. And there are some, it seems to be some things going around um, the, the community, the body of Christ uh, in general, as well as a few COVID cases uh, among us that we need to uh, help pray through and press through, um, especially uh, uh, those that are recovering uh, from COVID at home. And then we have Steve and Karen Price who are recovering in the hospital at this time uh, with the assistance of the doctors there. And Karen has been on a, a breathing tube or a, a vent since yesterday. Uh, so she especially needs you to just lift her up and uh, believe with her and believe with us for uh, a quick recovery that she would uh, get this uh, d disease virus um, rid from her body in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I wanted to just let you know that uh, we, as, as in the beginning of this thing over a year ago, a year and a half ago, uh, we take this very seriously. As you know, uh, it's not something that we take lightly or that we uh, uh, don't take seriously in this time. We, um, If you are showing symptoms, we just encourage you to uh, do the best that you can to protect those that are vulnerable. Uh, if you have symptoms or if you've been exposed to someone that tested positive for COVID, uh, it's in your best interest and theirs, as well as the church family, that you um, isolate yourself, stay away from public places until that has had a chance to um, go away, of course. Um, we will not bow and we will not allow COVID to rule our lives or rule the, the work of the living God. We are going to continue to do what we always do. We will be meeting tomorrow at 10 o'clock for word and worship in, in our church. We will spend some time early in the prayer room. The doors open at nine for that. And this is how we fight our battles. This is how we overcome through praise, through prayer, and through the word of God. The word will not fail us. If you're unable to come, we will be uh, live streaming our service. We encourage you to watch us on Facebook or YouTube or on the church website, rivervalleylifecenter.com. And if you are watching us, please don't just sit back and uh, be entertained by that. Please engage in worship. Please pray with us and please click in there and um, be engaged with the social media. You can uh, hit like, you can comment, you can send us a scripture, an encouraging word. Uh, you can share, please share on Facebook our uh, church service as well. Uh, we have baptisms tomorrow at the church. We have uh, the second part of our Genesis series that I'm going to be speaking from, and I really believe the Lord has given me a word for us, uh, for you, and for the church at this time. So I'm calling on you to keep believing, keep your, continue your best practices, and, and let's move this mountain together. Amen. We are standing together in agreement. Uh, the prayer room, again, will be open at nine o'clock tomorrow, and the God of heaven and earth will bring us the victory. 
I love you. I can't wait to see you in the house of the Lord tomorrow. And I trust that you and your family are ready to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Have a great day.